Um, my name is Micah, and I just quick question. I get a lot of like flack and crap for being black and conservative. So like Malcolm X in the '60s said that you know black people are only used as a political football for white liberals. For white liberals, yeah. What would you say that your best argument is to like disprove that fact and and whatnot? Well, I I, I kind of agree with Malcolm X, uh, if that's okay to say. Um, I don't know if you're asking me to di to disprove that, but no, no, like prove that it was true. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So just to understand, Malcolm X kind of a uh, mixed bag, and don't agree with everything he believed in, but Malcolm X was totally right on this. Malcolm X railed against white liberals that were trying to use the black population for their own personal gain. Um, and boy, was he right. And so you kind of look at, I mean, just look at public, well, one public polling poll, right, where the question is, do you support defunding the police? Most black communities don't support defunding the police. Who supports defunding the police are like upper white liberals on the northeast side of New York. It's like there's this huge disconnect. And so, look, but if you look at an even more fundamental, deeper level of this, I, I think what is most interesting and most important is that, like, black culture in America is completely disconnected from white liberal metropolitan culture. And they're, they're actually at the exact opposite. It's, I mean, you could speak, and you might disagree, but at least my experience and the black conservatives I spend time with is that this, like, trans issue is the least popular in the black community of all the communities in the country. It's like, the, it's the least popular especially when it comes to, like, men being, they're like, what, are you kidding me? And yet it's being pushed by white liberals on a party where they're the most reliable voting demographic, right? And so, look, put simply is that um, I believe that white liberals running the entire apparatus have taken for granted the average black voter. They think it's just already baked in. And at the very least, it's like you have to compete for the vote, right? I mean, in black communities across the country, you have failing schools, rising crime, and deter deteriorating households, and the same political decisions keep on made, being made over and over again. So, yeah, I, I, I can help you unpack that further, I suppose, but it really kind of goes down to this, which is, what is the best for a human being regardless of color? The best for human beings is to be able to own property, get a fair education, have streets that aren't widespread with crime. These issues should not be controversial at all. You know, it, should, it shouldn't be controversial to say that we want school choice, we want better schools, all these sorts of things. So um, happy to unpack that further. But let me just ask you a question. Being a black conservative, do you get, you get, how, does, how does the black community treat you in that, in that way? Um, so my barber, he's in, he, I get my haircut in favor, and every time I sit down in the chair, he's asking me all kinds of questions. And I don't, he gives me all, all these stats, and I don't even know if any of them are actually true, but he says them confidently enough to where they, they might be true. And I just have to sit there and take it. I don't, you know, I don't know what exactly stats, you know, to refute those sure. with. It's not your job. So, I mean, I just get, and all my uncles and everybody just, just rails on me. I've been called, you know, Uncle Tom, yep. every, every um, name in the book. There's a great movie. I don't know if you've seen that oh, movie I've seen yet that, uh, with Larry Elder and the and great Candace Owens. Yep. Yeah. So let me just kind of encourage you, though. Um, you've got to keep holding the line. You're not alone. There is a growing community of black conservatives across the country that are sick and tired of the one-stop stop, one -stop shop monolithic thinking. Um, the great Larry Elder, as I mentioned, Candace Owens, Brandon Tatum have been helping lead this charge. You are not alone. They want you to make you feel alone. Um, and I just want to say we have your back 100%. So God bless you.